And new at 6, the Cobb County Synagogue, where Nazi protesters gathered outside last month, is responding to recent acts of anti-Semitism. So doing, they're doing this right now, folks, by handing out important symbols, symbols for the Jewish community, so others can show their support as well. Paulo Cerro is getting answers for you tonight. The rabbi here tells me this initiative will help turn darkness into light and help turn several negative moments into Jewish pride, one mezuzah at a time. Rabbi Ephraim Silverman, whose grandmother survived the Holocaust, says the hateful Nazi protest outside of his synagogue last month, which was meant to divide, has done the opposite. Letters, cards that we've received from hundreds of individuals out there made us feel more loved and more respected and more part of the community than anything else. And the support keeps flooding in. Wednesday night, his synagogue received a donation of 100 of these $100 mezuzahs to hand out to his congregation and put on their doors for free. It brings protection, it brings blessing, and we're very thankful to the Hersenberg family that have the Hersenberg uh, Mitzvah Mission, which uh, helped fund this project. A $10,000 donation highlighting pride in the Jewish community. Mitchell Kopelman already put his up and is helping install his partners later this week. She came to the U.S. when Russia opened up the ability for Jewish people to leave. She didn't grow up with having a mezuzah. A lot of people in the South felt anti-Semitism over the years. They were afraid to have mezuzahs on their houses. But to me, it's we're commanded to do it. The mezuzah, a symbol marking a home is protected in the Jewish community, is helping David Asarnow, who witnessed the protest and whose son is living in Israel, be proud of his religion and recognize the work that still needs to be done one door frame at a time. They are trying to disrupt and turn people against each other. And what is the, the best response to, to hate? It's light. A sign of pride and unity when this anti-Semitic group and flyers try to fight just that. If their intention was to make the Jewish people feel more proud and feel more engaged and feel uh, better about their place in society and community, they have far surpassed their goals. In Cobb County, Paolo Cerro, 11 Alive News.